Hi, welcome to the Jim Safford channel. Please subscribe, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Jim Sapphire. Hmm, <laughs> this is my morning voice. Um, if you're curious, this is a hair washing day, so hence the hair towel. So, today's video, I'm going to talk about my June ins and outs. So, I went to Victoria's Secret for their semi-annual sale, and I bought a, a few of their beauty cases, because at this time, they're 65% off. So, let me just show you. Um, I purchased um, two items. One of the, the first one is their train case. I mean, along with this bag, inside they give you uh, another bag, and then there's a divider in the middle. I've actually um, purchased one of their train cases in the past. This is really useful when you're, you know, be it an uh, overnight trip or or a long trip, just because you know I found that I'm guilty when I without um, a train case. I'll just kind of like put all my brushes and makeup in side pockets and they kind of get jumbled all over the place. But when I, I started using a train case, just everything is just easy to find, very organized. You're not having to carry all the stuff in your hands to the vanity. And then once you're at the vanity, yeah, I mean, it continues to help you stay organized because you just open it up and you just pull out the items and you put them back in. Um, on top of buying a train case, I also saw that they had an, another one of their cases on sale, their travel case dual. Nice pattern, I really like it's pink and, and the background's gold. But as you can see, there's two uh, areas where you can um, you know, take things in and out. So already I can imagine putting my brushes on one side and some makeup items on the other. And with it being 65% off, believe it or not, the train case came out to be $15, and the, the travel case uh, was about like $15, $16. So definitely, you know, take advantage of their, their sale right now. And okay, so uh, the next um, beauty item I wanted to talk about is nail polish. It's by the brand Nails Inc. London. I got their Sparkle Like a Unicorn Nail Polish Duel. So they give you two colors. The, the first color, Dream Dust. It's pink with gold sparkles. It's a very nice color, you know, if you're wanting a, a warm choice. And if you're wanting, you know, a cooler choice, they have the Rainbow Wishes, which is a very holographic uh, lavender nail polish. I, I recently went to a wedding and was wearing a lavender dress and I put on this nail polish color. On top of um, buying the nail polish, I decided to buy a top coat, also a nails ink. They're 45 seconds top coat with Kingsington Caviar. I, I would say I like this brand. I mean, up until this point, my go-to was uh, Sephora's Formula X, but I actually think these are better. They they go on very, very thick and, and they feel strong. And the formulations last for a long time. Like usually when I use nail polish, it starts to chip about a day or two. This, this nail polish lasts longer. And then I only had to redo my nails after about two weeks. So these are ends by Nails, nails Inc. The next item I want to talk about, um, Shui Mur, they had a sale. So I decided to stock up on some of their, their eyeshadows. So all the, color, all the colors on the very bottom. First of all, I want to say, sure, more, please make your, your eyeshadow refills magnetic. I mean, I know they sell their own uh, quads or, pa or palettes so that you can put these in, but, you know, sometimes I don't, you know, want to do that because a lot of us have Z palettes and, and these kind of palettes and, and we just want to mix them up because I, I went through a lot of trouble going to um, Michael's and buying magnetized t uh, tape and even then, you know, they, they kind of work okay. So just a suggestion to show you more, please magnetize your refills. So going across, um, 611 is the Pearl Sky Blue. So, you know, the word pearl, like, definitely talk, says that, describes the texture. And the second one, 613, medium light blue. So uh, uh, light, it's a, um, 
a powdery matte. The third one is 660, the medium blue. Um, also a matte. Uh, 555, the medium light green. It has a metallic sheen to it. I don't, I don't even know how they can call it a... Uh, what is it? So this is medium blue, and then 555 is the medium light green. Yeah, there we go. And then 680 is the medium blue. So that's more of a matte. So I actually did um, swatch those first five colors on this arm. So you can... Uh, hopefully you can tell from the swatches that, yeah, the first color, it's, it's more pearlescent. And then the second color, it's like a powdery, like matte. And the third color, it, it's a matte blue. The fourth, I mean, actually the fourth and fifth look very similar. But if you, up close, you can see that this has a little more of the, the metallic sheen that you can see in the pan. Oh, just to say, say overall, I mean, I've owned past um, Shurimura eyeshadows. And I do like the formulations, they're good quality, they have nice color payoff, and they, they blend well. So, you know, whenever you have a chance, I mean, if you don't want to buy, like, you know, the palettes that they sometimes come, come out with, then, you know, invest in some of the refills then. And then you can kind of come up with your own color combinations. So the last few colors, so I, I bought a few cool colors, and then I wanted to buy some warm colors. Being it's spring, you know, I wanted to do some pinks. So I'm going across... Um, the first pink is 145 medium light pink, 165 medium rose. So these two are both mattes. And this one is um, one of their uh, limited edition colors, number three, number three, 17 ambush. So I was really impressed with these two pinks uh, when I was doing a, a pink look. I mean, it really does show up on the, on the lid very pretty and let me just show you the, the swatches I did of um, the first color <laughs> so it's hard to hold and do this at the same time so it, you can see it truly is a matte and then next to it you know is the second color which is a matte it's, it's uh, you know a deeper pink like a hot pink and then the ambush itself you know it's a, you know it looks darker in the pan but you know when you actually swatch it and use it it's a more of a metallic um, pink, so just something to keep in mind. So I um, some more items that I wanted to talk about for June. I was getting frustrated with some of my sh shading shader brushes, so I went to Ulta one day and I decided to just try out some um, some other types of brands. So NYX NYX. I, I got their number 12 br shader brush. I would recommend this. It's affordable and you know if you want a workhorse, I, you know this is your workhorse brush. I mean it's, I wouldn't say, um, I mean it's not sharp at all because that's, that's usually what I worry about you know with some of the cheaper, um, ch cheaper more affordable brushes but no this is not, it, the bristles aren't um, scratchy and it does the job. So I, I would, uh, it's a nice alternative for a more affordable uh, shader brush. And then um, recently I, I bought some MAC products. I decided to try some of their, their brushes. Uh, online, people were recommending um, 217 and also 246. 246 I used to lay on the eyeshadow and 217 I used to um, shade both brushes, you know, not scratchy at all, and so far I like it. I mean, definitely more affordable than my um, Hakuhodo brushes, because, <laughs> you know, there are times I, I just, like I said, I want workhorse brushes, brushes that, you know, I can travel with, I'm not afraid of losing, and will, will do the job. And then, um, more recently, when I uh, purchased some items from MAC Cosmetics, they drew in this um, eyeliner. Their modern twist um, Kajol liner in squid. At first, I didn't. I was like, okay, you know, just like any other black eyeliner. But I, I've had a chance to use it a little more. I like this. It's it's soft, but it makes a clean line. So I would I would recommend this.
And, and since we're talking about brushes, I, I recently went to Sephora and I bought their mini color switch just to try it out. Because, you know, sometimes you're doing so many different colors, especially bright colors. And then, you, I mean, unless you go and wa wash all your brushes, I mean, it's just nice to have um, this tool where literally you just, you know, swipe your brush across and it, it, it takes off that color and then you can use uh, the, that same brush again. And that's exactly what I did the other day when I was wearing make, uh, putting on my makeup. I used exactly one brush, and after each color application, I swiped it across, and then I was able to still use the brush and put on another color. Because otherwise, right, if you if you have like red, for example, eyeshadow on your brush, and then you try to use another color, that red's gonna go all over the place and, and make a mess of your makeup look. So I was skeptical at first, but this this actually does work, and it's it's affordable. So I would I would definitely. Um, recommend this uh, when you go to Sephora to get one of these and I know this video is starting to get lengthy uh, this is the last one um, Ulta I mean now that's uh, summer uh, you know I wanted to purchase their rainbow highlighter this works okay um, definitely you have to get one of these brushes that way you can kind of just swipe across and then you'll be able to see a lot more of the colors I, I put it on my arm right here I mean definitely some of the colors show up a little bit more like you'll see the gold and the green and the purple more the pink you know there's such a small patch of it so you're not really gonna see that as much but you know if you don't see it the first time usually what I do is I just do a second swipe and I just put in the exact spot again keep in mind if you put this on probably skip the blush just because you don't want the blush to cover up the rainbow the rainbow look that you just created with this but yeah I mean very pretty so I hope you you enjoyed my June ins and outs and please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time